It was not too long ago, much more recent than it may seem, when it was first discovered the world below only thought to be seen in a dream. For those who have lost and suffered, something truly special must be rediscovered. A spark thought long forgotten but will always remain for those who know where to look. There I was. Couldn't hardly see one foot in front of me. The air was as thick as flour with snow. Had to practically crawl on all fours to avoid falling off the crevice beyond. Oh. And then what happened? Well, I thought surely I must be a goner. I was completely lost, wading in a sea of snow. And then, from somewhere out there in the haze, I could hear this low howl. Almost like a heart fire engine growing closer. And then... The monster. Not exactly. I looked up, and there he was, seven foot tall, eyes black as coal, teeth sharp as razors glaring down at me, hunched over, ready to strike. But then, the damnedest thing happened next. <laughs> he smiled at me. No. Surely he did. All monsters of a certain disposition have the ability to smile. It just takes practice. His name was <laughs> No, son, when someone very special passes on, they never really leave us. But then, where is she? Why did Nuna have to go? It's hard to say. It was just her time to go, I guess.
Wait, wait. Yeah. 
You weren't out hunting night crawlers last night, were you? No, sir. Can't take anyone. I swore I saw you in the backyard, though. I just think you saw raccoons, Jim. Looks like they got in the house last night. Didn't seem to like the pie, though. You see, some fairy tales don't always have the warmest of endings or beginnings. But where the darkest times persist, magic surely can still exist. Watch new vids every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, only on Crypt TV.